What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, this is your daily mod update, your mods in testing for Monday, March 11th, 2019. Today we've got 29 mods on the list, however, 10 of these mods have already been released. They were released earlier today. I'll make sure I link that video in the description below. So let's get on to it and let's see what mods were released, which mods were not released. I will have pictures for as many of these as possible. The very first one, and I think the biggest thing on this list right now, is the Agco Ideal. Now this is for PC right now. If it is coming to console, we will see it drop down to the PS4 Xbox One testing list at the bottom. Man, I, this is the best one in the game right now. This is the best combine in the game. And an improvement on this can only mean one thing, that the best is getting better. And that's awesome. Next up, we have the Agromass BM. This is a weeder. We had it in 17. Now, a lot of these mods we did have in 17. However, this mod in particular was used as a weeder. Of course, it is a weeder. We had weeders in 17, but they didn't do the job that they do now. So it's very exciting to have this coming in and to actually be used for what it's supposed to be used for. Next up is the Agromass SP200. This is a cedar that goes on the back of one of our Agromass uh, cultivators or stuff like that, and it allows it to be used as a direct drill, which is super cool. Next up, we have the Alpago RE300. This is a harrow, and it works just as you would think it would. And there are a couple options and versions of this that have uh, hooks on the back where you can hook up a planter or cedar to it, which is very cool. Next up, we have the BSS P73SH. This was released today only on PC. This is very cool. Uh, so you can use this as a tipper trailer. You can also use it to haul around bales or pallets, stuff like that, which is very cool. And you can even use this as a chaff collector. So cool. We also have Dead a Save. I'm not really sure what this is. I can't find any information on it at all. The only thing I can think of is that it would be used as a dedicated save. Next up, we have Display for Tool Position. This was released today only for PC. Uh, it says this is the successor to the front loader display from LS17 or Farming Simulator 17. With the script, you could display the position, height, and angle of tools in relation to the vehicle. Not only all of the front loader, telescopic loader, and wheel loader tools are sported, also tools with three-point hitch, such as levelers and tree saws. We also have the Floatsinger Bell Fork, which was released today only on PC. Again, it is just a bell fork. Hasn't been getting the best reviews, but nonetheless, works just fine. We also have the KFMR Kreutzweck, or Kreutzweck Optimal 40 slash 12 slash mix. I can't find anything on this. I don't know what it is. I am unable to get any information whatsoever. So if you've got any ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. Next up, we have the Karen Shed. Hopefully you can put a big bud. Haha, -ha, practiced it and said it right. Hopefully you can put a big bud in here. I know it's got a picture of the case quad track on the side. So I imagine we'll be able to do a lot of really cool stuff with this. In testing, we also have the Lizard 20-foot bell trailer. This thing is very cool. Of course, it's a bell trailer. Uh, you've got straps on there to hold everything down. I think you may be able to hold, see, eight, plus maybe 18 bells on here. Something like that. Four on the bottom, five on the top. Double width. Something like that. Very, very cool. You've also got the Lizard Trailer 4.2 meters. Now, this is going to be just a little bit shorter than the Lizard 20-foot bell trailer, 4.2 meters. That's going to be around 17-ish feet or so. Um, so keep a lookout for that. No pictures of that because Lizard is an in-game brand only. This is not a real-life brand. It is for Farming Simulator only. And, of course, I have no information whatsoever on it. Next, we have the Man IT Runner. Now, this is a man truck with the IT Runner Pack trailer attached to the very back of it as the rear. This thing is going to be very cool if we're able to get this on console. Obviously, in testing for PC right now, but stay tuned. It may be put down in the console testing list very soon, possibly tomorrow. We also have the Metal Tech DB Pack. This was a pack that we had in Farming Simulator 17. What took it took the small Metal Tech trailer and gave you some more options so you could change the color, change the tires, 
change up the design around the outside. We also have the one axle trailer. Now this was out for Farming Simulator 17 as well for PC and PlayStation 4, Xbox One on all platforms. Uh, this was made famous by Clutch Simulations using it on the Pacific Northwest to haul around stuff. Unfortunately, most of his tractors ended up on the roof. We've also got something brand new. The Richard Weston GR30 Auger Wagon is going to be coming to Farming Simulator 19. It's in testing right now. I am very, very excited about this. We've got some FS19 picks from the mod creator. Oh, I'm so excited. We also have the Scarecrow. I assume this is going to be an update to the Scarecrow. I don't know anything about this mod uh, other than the fact that it's just a Scarecrow. We've also got the Silos Agritech mod. Now this is going to be, a, I believe, a placeable silo that you can put in. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a refill silo or if this is going to be a silo that holds certain things. So maybe you get seeds, fertilizer, oats, you know, stuff like that from it. Could be either one. We've got two stole mods. We have the Stole Super 1, which is going to be an update to the front loader. And we have the Stole Tools. Now, the tools, I don't have any information on this. What I can say is the Stole Tools is going to be some buckets, uh, forge stuff, stuff to grab onto, logs, that kind of thing. I don't think this is going to be anything too crazy. We may just have updated versions of what we've got in game, possibly smaller, possibly larger. We have the Transfer Forks mod. Now, this was released on PC only today, uh, and it was an update to the original Transfer Forks mod. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, new changelog, new normal map, new gloss, new store image, model adaption and functions for straps, and added new model R. We also got another new mod on PC today. This is the We Still or West Still Silo Extension. Now these extensions are very, very cool. They look good. They've got the West Still logo on the side. Very awesome. If you guys are on PC, make sure you go pick these up. And the last mod for PC today that we have is the Zunehammer SKE Pack. Now this has been in for a bit and then they changed it up. It may be the same mod, it may not be. I'm still trying to figure that out. But nonetheless, we still have the Zoomhammer SKE Pack. This is gonna be having to do with slurry and digestate. You'll be able to either cultivate it into the ground or we'll be able to use drag hoses. For console, we have the Bunker Silo, which was released today. We have a small, a medium, and a large size. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure that you do. We also have the EB4 trailer. Now this was the trailer that we had in 17. I did not use it very much, and I don't think a lot of people used it much. Uh, if you did, let me know down in the comment section below, be like, yo, I love that thing. Or nah, I never really used it too much. We also have the homemade IBC front tank. This was released for console today as well. All mods today that were released on console were also released on PC. So if you're a PC player, make sure you know that. Again, homemade IBC front tank, 2,000 liter capacity. This thing is very cool. Looks a little bit better than the one we had in 17, and I'm very happy about that. So you will need a three-point hitch to move this. If you do not have a three-point hitch, you will be unable to move this. We also have the ITS Limken pack. Now, this pack has all kinds of stuff in it. Mainly, what we've got is we've got the Limken Giant, I believe it's the Giant, that holds two different implements with three-point hitch on both sides with full capability and full range of motion for both. So if you've got two of the implements in here, a lot of the implements on here are suited for this setup right here. I'm super excited for. I can't wait. We also got an update to the Lime Station today. This was released for all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Uh, it says the release is, can now be placed closer to other buildings. So if you want to put this beside the building, anything like that, go for it. It will have a dirt square at the very bottom, and that is your range. So if you've already got one placed down, you're trying to put stuff around it, Stay outside that little square and you'll be totally fine. Up next, we have the Lizard Villa SXHV30. This is my new favorite cultivator in the entire world. Nope, said that wrong. New favorite cultivator in the world. There we go. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's seven plus meters wide, requires 150 horsepower. Uh, it is heavy. It is very, very heavy heavy but pull straight through the ground no problem i was able to do it with a t6 with 150 horsepower off screen i was able to get the fiat ugh, the fiat was pulling it just by nine miles an hour 
This thing's awesome. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you take a look at it. We've also got placeable filling stations. This is in four console right now, which is super exciting. So I'm guessing that anything that we can do with pallets, we'll be able to do with this. And I'm talking seed, I'm talking fertilizer, herbicide, lime, liquid fertilizer, stuff like that. That may be the only things that we can do with it. Um, but nonetheless, stuff like this is missing on console, and I'm glad to see more mods like this coming. We've got the Silo King Trailed Line Duo 1814, which came out today. Uh, you can get these in 14,000, 16,000, or 18,000 different capacities, 18,000 liter capacities. So nothing too crazy, just 2,000 liters more than the in-game version. So I don't see these as being totally worth it, but 2,000 liters is more than zero. So I highly recommend if you guys are using one of these, make sure you download the mod and swap that 16 out for an 18 so you can get a little bit more in there. And last but not least, we have the T088 and 353 manure spreader. This is a Fortret manure spreader, which is super cool, very awesome. I have not been able to find anything on the 353. However, the T088 is very, very cool. Looks awesome. And with all that being said, we have another 185 mods sitting, waiting to be tested. So it's only a matter of time before more of those come out. But with that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.